Okay, I might need to now have an opening for this. Ow! Oh my gosh, just wait for my thighs. Oh my gosh, that hurts, that hurts. Ah. Ah. Good morning, it's another beautiful day. Thank you for joining me once again on uh, this vlog, on another vlog. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well today. It's a very cloudy, gloomy, rainy day, but I still want to get things done. I think I'll be spending most of the day at home today because I would try, I would like to try and make a dress. Yeah, um, I don't know if you remember the apron I got from my mother-in-law or well, the one she bought for me. I'd like to use that apron pattern to make a dress, kind of like a stay-at-home dress. Unless it comes out really good, then I'll be wearing it ours. But yeah, now it is, oh my gosh, it's so late. It's twenty five to 11. I need to make my coffee and then get started. Need to make coffee, trace the pattern, and then cut the fabric and get sewing. Hopefully I can get all of that done today. If not, then I'll be working into tomorrow and hopefully not the next day. So coffee first. Here is my cat. Sure. I think I have it. Okay, we're going to have this cabinet. Where is it? There we go. That's what I'm having. That's my coffee for today. Trying this for the first time, so I don't know how it's going to be. Oh. Yesterday, I had so much bread, I don't think I should be having any more today, so I will not be having bread. I'll try not to have too much bread. Ah, uh, I'm a bit bloated from it, like, my lower body is amazing, no bloat in size, and then my upper body, yeah, uh, it's a different story. Maybe next time, I should also get an upper body massage. Oh, my carrot plant is dying. It's dying. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to get this mic on. Just knew my cats were up to something. Look at this. Can you see that? They're playing with toilet paper again. Where are they? There is cinnamon. Where's ginger? Where's There's ginger running away. You sneak a little. What is this? Ah, uh, seriously. Is it all gone? Yep. They ran out, that's why they stopped. Not because they're behaving. Okay, I need to clean this up and then get back to my sewing. Uh, are you back for another go? Hmm, is that why you're here? There's no more. Okay, I'll just let them play with this while I sew. That way they'll be distracted. Because if I clean it up, then they'll find something else to play with. So I'll clean this mess up later. For now I'm going to work. Bye guys, have fun, have fun in here. Mommy's going, yeah, okay. See you in a bit, stay here, okay? Stay in here. Okay, so this is a lovely new apron. I'm trying to turn into a dress. This is the front and the back is quite similar. So what I want to do to make this into a dress, I'm going to have to extend this up. Actually, no. Do I? Yeah, there's a bit of a gap. Okay, I need to basically bring this in a bit so that it covers more of me from the side. Yeah, bring it in a bit somehow. Or maybe just dart it. Yeah, bring it in and then dart it. So that it can turn into a dress. And I think I need to bring this seam here up a bit, maybe by two centimeters. Or is it fine where it is? I don't know. It seems fine, right? I think it's fine. And then this comes in. Yeah, I need to <clears throat> make the side bits a bit longer so that there's a bit more of an overlap. This is the fabric 
that I'll be using and hopefully I have enough. I think this is two ma. It could be three ma. Uh, a ma is 90 centimeters. That's how uh, the fab. Okay, this is two ma. That's how the fabric is measured on the Korean fabric stores, the online ones. Flatten your paper first because it's not easy to cut on paper that keeps rolling like this. But here's the top bit. Okay, here we have the original line is the green one, and then the pencil where I cut basically is the new line. And I'm hoping that this will be fine. This was on fold, and it's for the back and the front. Now I'm going to transfer this to my fabric, my mock fabric, and then add the seam allowance, and then put it together and see how it turns out. Okay, I found some yellow fabric that slipped over from when I made my chair covers. So I'm going to use that to try and make the mock up for this apron shirt. I hope I'm folding it right. So do that and then like that. Yeah, that should be enough for everything. But let's just turn this. Off, 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 off. This way, yeah, to make it easier to cut. That's what I was trying to do. Please, please, give me a break. No, don't touch my hand. Don't be trying to be sweet now. Good. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and use one side. Nope, it's not wide enough. No, it's not wide enough. It's fine, it's fine. It's a mock up, and this is the extension anyway, so. Let hope, let's hope it works out. Okay, just finished cutting the top bit and I'm going to open it up now. It seems about fine, but we'll see. Let me try it on. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is so yellow. Okay, this is how it's going to look on it. Definitely have to dot this here. Mm -hmm. But now it's not showing as much skin on the side as wise. I don't think I'll be wearing this on its own. Will I? Will I? I don't know. But I do need to dot it. Okay, I might need to now have an opening for this. Ow! Oh my gosh! Just wait for my thighs. Oh my gosh, that hurts. That hurts. Ah. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Stupid cat. It's because of the straps, it's because of the straps. Okay, there we go. And then we have the side tie. Oh my gosh, it hurts. It hurts. Okay. And then the other. No, stay away from me. Oh. And then the other side here to adjust the foot. Oh, I need to check on my guy. I need to check on my guy. Okay, so. Yeah, we have it and i think that fits so much better already but we do still have a bit of a gaping problem even though i adjusted the shoulders but i think it's definitely much better than it was before i think i'm just gonna have to do a small dot there facing down and i should solve the problem i think that will solve the problem okay another update yes another one okay I hope we're making good progress, but I have gone in and taken this out. <laughs> I've gone in to take it out. Anyway, I've gone in and taken this out by one centimeter. I didn't do the dot. Ugh. It's fine. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Ugh. 
My head is all over the place because of these cats. Busy annoying me when I'm trying to be productive. Okay, so ignore the dark situation here. But I have fixed the tightness issue here. It definitely feels much better and it's not as tight on my boobs and it's actually easier to put on the shirt compared to how it was five minutes ago. But yeah, okay. Okay. My pink the ties are actually in the right place. We don't need further adjustment. Mm, yeah. Once this is started, it's gonna be, look so much better. So don't worry about it being the way it is now, because the dart is also gonna pull in the fabric from the back. But yes, we're good. We're good. Now I think I can move on. No, I need to do the dots. That way I know how to cut my fabric. Yeah, I need to do this dot. Let me just do it quickly and then hopefully be able to cut my fabric. Crossing fingers, the cats are busy playing this really so much. Everything's done, dots are done. But now I'm experiencing a bit of gaping here, which means this dot needs to be wider. But I also got a brilliant idea because you can see here, there's quite a bit of fabric that gets gathered when the ties are done. So my idea is to then just make this into kind of like a princess seam, cut into the start, and then just basically cut into this as well. So this will be two different panels and then cut straight from here into the start down here. So the side panel is going to be its own. So the skirt dress will be two, four parts, one, no, that's three parts. One, two, three. I hope that makes sense. That way, when I cut this piece here, I can cut it kind of like on the bias so that it opens up and I don't need to gather this bit of fabric. So this one is going to open up and then this will also open up as I cut it, if that makes sense. No, that doesn't make sense. Okay, this part here, sorry, I'm, I'm developing as I'm talking. So, own panel, open. And then, like, the fabric opens up, like an A-line skirt. And in this one here, when I get to this point, then I'm gonna do the gathering. So like, A-line is here, but then gathered at the front, if that makes sense. Which then means that this is not what I'm making today. This is the first part of this dress here. Yeah? It's a, a pattern in progress, development in progress. What I'm gonna do, cause I still wanna make something today. I'm gonna try and make something simpler, still using the same fabric. So that means I might have to buy a new fabric for when I eventually make this dress, which I'm now working on. Plans change, it happens. So now I'm just gonna make a simpler dress. I think I'm just gonna make one of those dresses where you basically fold over the fabric and then you make your armholes and then you find a way to move ties. I think I'm gonna make these kind of ties on like, what are those things called? It's not a caftan, yeah, like kind of like a caftan. But yeah, I'm gonna make a caftan, 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 one of those. That's what I'm gonna do with the fabric. And I'm going to put ties on the caftan so that it can also be tied this way or look at this look at this look at this so you be able to tie it multiple ways the cats love straps so i'm a bit worried they'll come for this so you'll be able to tie the caption like how i tied it before or tie it like this front tie and a back tie see that will also work for the caption to shape it or we could also do crisscross so these two front ones go to the back and then the back ties come to, if I can find the back tie, where's the second one? All right, did I mess up? Anyway, then the two will come here, they'll be thicker. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play around with how I use the ties on a caftan kind of dress. So sorry that this is not being completed today, but at least you can see the, <clears throat> the pattern development process of what I'm making. 
So I'll come back to this. Oh, sorry, my throat is terrible today. I should probably drink something. I'll come back to this a different day. I'm going to take this Thai situation and use it on what I'm going to make now, which is very risky because I'm going to try and make this without a pattern. It's a captain. It's straightforward. The only thing I really need to think about is the Thai placement. So excuse me while I successfully or unsuccessfully make a different race. Not this one, but a different race. You will see this one in a future video. Sorry if you're excited about this and are now not going to see the final product in this video, but you'll see it someday in the future. Hopefully the near future. But today I'm just gonna quickly work on the captain dress situation because I really, really wanna have something done by the end of today and I feel like what I started working on is gonna need more work and I don't wanna rush through it because I wanna do it as best as I can. And right now, it's gonna take more time than I thought it would, but it's gonna get done, it will get done. Now, it's almost, it's a quarter to one. Not so much time because of the cats, but I'm going to move on to the captain dress and hopefully that will work out and be complete today. But I really like <coughs> this multi-type situation, so I will be adopting this for another, for the dress that I'm making now. And I think to make it look nicer, instead of doing two bits, so here, yeah, because that's what I did for this dress as I was developing it, I'm thinking of doing the same thing by basically sewing the tie as one piece, not two ties, but one tie. That's basically, you'll see it across here. This is where the stitching for the tie will be and in the end bits of the tie, if that makes sense. So I'll do that for the front and the back. We're gonna end up with the same look, but a different technique, something easier. So now I'm excited about that, let's get into it. Sorry about this dress. You'll see it one day. One day, I promise. One day you'll see it. Okay, now for the captain dress, I think I'm gonna need to, I'm, I'm worried about my cat, sorry. I'm gonna try and move quickly. They already yeah, they, they heard this sound. So basically, I'm going to measure where I want it to go from, from where to where. And I think maybe from there to there, that seems about even, and that's it. Uh, 20 cents, no, 20 inches, <laughs> um, 20 inches, which is 50, let's just go with 50, 50, no, let's do 52, 52 centimeters, uh, leaving some for a bit of um, hemming, hemming, okay, and then basically it's the same thing in the front, except I need to measure the opening for the front, don't, don't you dare look at me, and the front, the opening is, let's not make it too wide, Let's do that. 30, so 50 minus 30, basically. Um, nickel is 50, 30. 50, 52, 30, 52, 30. Let me just do that quickly before I keep okay, 52, 30. 50. This is not wide enough for my hip action, but I will fix it, so don't worry. Because this is just a sample, now I know that I need to go out a bit more when I cut the actual fabric. And this is not pinned to me. So basically, okay, here we have our four ties. And this is actually the back. So let's turn it around again. Ugh. Okay, so this is it. Going to overlap. The back so it's kind of similar to how the apron was tied so we're going to take our ties which are now way too high way too high but imagine that they're in the right place imagine use your imagination okay so ties front ties back ties first okay here and then this tie there See, it's a dress. Nice and simple. Or we could. I'm worried about the pins. I'm really worried about the pins. Or we could then do the side tie. Now imagine this is sewn, so it's going to gather 
and then we tie and do the same on this side. Gather and tie. And then we can also experiment with the different ways as we tie this. Mm. I think that is a success. Not great right now, but we're getting some way. But then we can also, let's see, how else can I tie this? Ooh, okay. It's not as easy to imagine the final product because the sides are not sewn, but we could also do a cute little tie here. And then another cute tie at the back. And then this will obviously be sewn on the side. Okay, we're cutting the fabric now. I have measured. I've measured the fabric is 140 centimeters wide. So at my onlongi, my hip area is a hundred centimeters. Is it a hundred or hundred and ten? Let me double check. I am wearing something right now, so I just want to be a hundred percent accurate. But this is 140 that we're working with, and then after sewing, it's probably gonna come down to 138. And the widest part of me with this extra fabric is 99. Oh my lord, I lost five centimeters around my arm for me. Yeah, but okay, be careful a bit of an update. Sorry, more messed up from rushing trying to get all of this done. But there is progress. I'm stuck on the neckline, but there's progress. Just need to be careful when putting this on because I could just hurt myself with the pins. Also, excuse the lighting. Okay, so I have pinned the center front. I don't know if you can see it well. This still needs to be sewn down where it's supposed to stay. I don't like it that it's gaping. I think it's also because I have a bit of a standing collar situation here. This is a standing collar. But I've done my straps. You can't see them. They're done. Back to. So I'm thinking of just hemming it and not sewing the sides. The reason is I realized this actually looks nice when it is tied like this because I decided to make big straps and also if it overlaps right which I haven't done you actually can't see my booty on the side same on this side so overlap similar to my apron actually overlap once you're overlapping okay and then you basically tie or maybe should I just sew it up only up to my um, what's this my hips that way even when it overlaps it doesn't look weird does it look okay now I think it looks okay maybe not the best fabric choice Prince choice for this dress but I think it looks fine it's escaping I mean if it was a beach wrap it would be fine with the opening on the side but because I plan on wearing it as a dress and not a wrap maybe it would be better to actually just sew the sides up from here the waist to maybe just above my knee so that there's still a bit of an opening and here we have the final product yes i know it pretend this is hemmed everything else is done it's just the armholes that are not hemmed because they're enough of time but hey this is it it's done okay so i did the sides this list is high but it's okay <laughs> Sorry, Ray just told me that he pooped a lot. I need to go. I'll come back to this. And yeah, we have the final product. Okay, pretend the sleeves are done, but everything else is done except for the sleeves. And this is what the dress is. The dress looks like. I like it. Not excited about the print, but the dress itself is really nice. I'm not thinking, maybe I could have added some nice pockets here. This is what it looks like on the side, like a high slit. I could lower this if i wanted to but i'm not going to i just like the dress as is it's lots of volume yeah i like the sleeves i like this tight detail here how i can tie it different ways yeah that's it so thank you for joining me on this here chaotic vlog i guess this is the end of part one but i still need to do part two where i actually complete the dress that i started this video with but so far I think it's turned out okay. Like I wanted to make a dress, I made a dress. It's not the dress I started making, but it's the dress that I ended up with. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves until then. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye.